Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to ADOK, A Dose of Chrissy, where we learn, grow, and grow through lifestyle, adventure, and beauty. And um, as you can see, my makeup is not done. Um, chilling, relaxing. Um, I wanted to take this video in a different direction. Um, my channel isn't just about all things beauty. Um, it's about learning and growing and glowing through lifestyle, adventure, and beauty. So this is something that I wanted to talk about um, and just not mask it in any way, not do something to make me feel better about it. I wanted to just be completely open and transparent and maybe there's somebody out there who can relate. I have seen other videos, so I know there are people are out there who can relate, but one thing what I'm about to talk about is that we do a good job of keeping this hidden. Um, whether we wear long sleeves, sweatshirts, hats, we do a good job of covering up, but there are some times when we get caught slipping. And there are some times when people see things on us and they have questions like, wait, what is that? Are you okay? What's wrong with you? Have you told anybody? Do you need to see a doctor? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? I have trichotillomania. I have trichotillomania. I pull my hair. I noticed this, it started probably between like um, eight and 10 years old. Uh, I remember it first started off as like a tugging sensation. It was just, there was a spot on my head where I just like needed to just tug. And then later it went from, I think it turned from tugging to pulling cause I was tugging and then got a sensation of pulling. Um, but yeah, I had the sensation of whatever I, when I had pulled it, it was just like, whoa, I need to keep attacking whatever that is. Um, and that's literally what I felt like I was doing. I felt like I was attacking whatever sensation that is to make it stop. Like I felt like I needed to pull it out, pull it away. Um, I didn't know, this was something I kind of like didn't know I was doing at first. Um, it would be something that I just wouldn't know I was doing. It would take for um a family or a friend to be like hey why are you like well mostly family like why are your fingers in your hair and then um a friend asking you know like what are you doing i'll be like oh nothing just messing with my hair you know or that's real really what it would be just messing with my hair um and i'm if you see me looking down looking down at my notes um i remember one day i think i was sitting at my dining room table and I just, that at that point I knew I had a problem. I remember, I don't know if it was my mom or my grandpa at the time had came over or had saw me or had mentioned me doing it and then I had to put a hat on. And um, it was at that point where I knew like, okay, something isn't right, but I didn't know what to do with it or about it. So I just kept it to myself, I guess. I think many things could have possibly started this. Um, I believe I was in that adolescent to preteen age when this probably started. And um, what the heck? So the things that I thought that probably could have contributed to it was me looking for my dad. Um, yeah, I think um, 
me looking for my dad at that point played a major part in it because um I grew up with a single mom and you know I'm thankful for my mom and all the family who had helped but I don't know if anybody out there can relate when you don't have the other side of you you long for it you want it you look for it you know and I never stopped and there were some hard times with that along the road there was definitely some setbacks but they were setbacks for major comebacks because I've been in contact with my dad. May he rest in peace. Um, I am in contact with both of my sisters and my brother. So that has a happy ending to it. Um, another factor that probably most likely played a part in this was school. And I think maybe this is for a lot of kids. We like going to school. We like seeing our friends. But see me, I liked to learn. I liked when I was in class and learning stuff. Yes, I was a talkative person. Um, but I liked learning. But what I didn't like to do is that go home and do the homework part. And I think that's what messed me up is that not getting that. And, and please believe like, it was set up for me to be successful. Go home, do your homework, then do stuff fun. But I didn't do that. I went home and I napped and I watched TV. And I just thought what I needed to learn was it stayed in class. But I never thought about taking te tests and retaining that information. So when I don't want to say I was forced to do homework or when I had to do it, I just hated it. Honestly, I hated it. And then I'm just like, now Now things are kind of like flowing to my brain. And I think weight probably played a big factor. Um, just not knowing why I was one to be chosen to be fat. You have people that are skinny, you have people that are fat, you have people that are in between. Why was it destined for me to be fat? You know, why? Just why? That, that's that. Just why. We cannot sit here and go into details, but literally that was just the basic thought. Why am I like this? Um, have I seen a doctor about this? No. I believe my doctor, I believe I mentioned it to her. And I think she's recommended like therapists for me to see. But I've never went to talk to them. And I can honestly say, I don't know if I will. And to be completely honest, there's reasons behind that. Those reasons are, I'm scared. Do I have to take medicine? And the kicker is actually having to deal with stuff. Because a psychiatrist, I feel like they open up those doors and, you know, unlock those ways that, you know, we have literally buried. No longer think about, you know, no triggers about it. It's just buried, you know? So that's, that's what I'm scared of. I'm scared to actually... What if there's something I actually have to deal with? What if there's a thought I have to deal with? What if she gives me a project or he or she gives me a project that I need to confront somebody or do something? Like, no, I don't want to do that. I'm scared because I don't want to be seen as crazy. I don't want to take medicine. I mean, of course, yes, I would love for if there was a magic pill to make me stop doing all this. I probably 100% would take it, but medication comes with so many side effects and, you know, I just don't want a medication to help me with my feelings or emotional. I'm an emotional person, but I think I'm just like everybody else. Everybody else gets sad, gets depressed, you know, I just don't think I'm a person that, like, hangs on to some things because like some people like are depressed like diagnosed with that I don't want to be diagnosed with that 
I don't, okay, that's that. Um, do I want to stop pulling my hair? Duh, of course I want to stop pulling my hair. Will I ever stop pulling my hair? I don't know. I really don't. But I pray, I pray that one day I will stop. I pray that God will I pray that I pray that the desire to pull my hair goes away. I pray that I don't I pray that it hurts. I pray that I don't get satisfaction from it. I pray that I don't put my fingers in my hair. You know. I pray that it's a thought that I don't think of. I pray that it's something that I just don't do. You know. And this is probably something that holding me back from actually like not moving through life but like not daily activities but let's say for example I want to get up and like I want to film a video okay film a video all I need is a dull moment and sometimes that's, it's not even like a dull moment sometimes it's just I'll look at my hand and then boom, 20 minutes has gone by. And then I'll see tweezers laying around and then, oh, I'll, I'm in a tangent. I'm going off, I'm, I've gone off the deep end. Um, so yeah, it probably, for me, it started off, um, it started off with my hair. Um, and I'll insert a picture, probably like one of the best pictures that I've ever gotten, like openly, um, with my hairdresser. Um, it's probably like a good picture of like how bare my scalp actually was. Um, I don't want to show it now just because like, I just... It's growing back a little bit right now, just because I, I recently took my hair out of braids. Let's talk about that for a second, because a lot of people always mention, well, you always have braids. Well, you must like braids. There you go with them braids again. Do you like any other hairstyles? Do you, like, you know, people who don't know, ask the darndest things, you know? It's just like, I remember as a kid asking somebody I went to church with, are you pregnant? You know, it's just like, you don't ask a woman straight up. Like, I was a kid at that at that time. But just like in life, you learn that there are some things you just don't ask people. Or you just don't mention or you just better keep in your mouth shut, basically. So yes, that's one reason why I do keep braids because it's able to cover up certain spots, but also having braids is vulnerable, leaves my edges vulnerable for pulling. And as you can see, like, I don't know, maybe just because like I'm pointing it out, you can see, but a lot of this used to be full. And like, it looks just like, oh girl, it's just like that. Like, no, that's where your hairline starts. That's just like baby hair. Like, actually, no, it, it's really not. Like, for example, right here. This is probably a good example of what it used to look like. So my whole hairline used to be full. I mean, I used to have long hair. The only time I had short hair up here is when I had bangs. And like, barely at these edges was baby hair. I didn't think before I had baby hair because I literally had full blown hair. So um, that has left me vulnerable because I'll, I'll pick um, right here, especially you can see my hairline has gone back. It's because like with the braid is here, I'll pick right here, pick on the sides. Um, and then if you can kind of tell right here is where it'll start. And then it's like this whole, if I were to do a middle part, you'd see a little tiny afro right there yeah it makes me sad it makes me insecure and it's not only on my head and this is probably 
gonna be a surprise to my family. And can be like people who know me, but people who are close to me probably have an idea. But just know when you see me with tweezers, or if I have tweezers, I'm in my own amusement park. Um, I just don't pull out my hair. I pull my eyelashes. That's probably my newest, yes, newest. That's probably one of my newest areas. Um, yeah, my eyelashes. And then um, the back of my hands. If you can kind of see I have scars. Some of these scars are from um, an accident that I had, but yeah, scars and then on my arms. So right here was one of like the first like really, really bad spots. And as you can see, like it's still bald there. And then this is another spot, um, still has some scabs. My hand and then it's so funny because I started on my right arm and then like in the same spot on my left arm, I started. Um, like there were some like concentrated spots, but I mean, I've pulled everywhere. I pulled from my chest down, you know, legs, toes, fingers. I mean, I don't grow I pretty much don't grow hair here anymore. Um, and if I do see hair there, I'll, I'm gonna pull it out. Um, I thought trying to like nair this hair away would even help, but no. So a little bit of what I know about this disease, I guess, is that from what I read, it affects about one in 50 people and it's the irresistible urge to pull your hair. And um, a lot of people keep it hidden and that's something that I have kept hidden. It's something that I've like shared with people but I don't think they knew the extremity of what I was talking about. But yeah, that is something that has been sitting really heavy on my heart that I really just wanted to share and hopefully relate with more people about this and hopefully we can get out of our minds and start talking about some things and yeah thank you guys for joining me for another dose of Chrissy um Please share this with anybody who may be going through this, is going through this, has gone through this. Um, turn, Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below um, your comments, thoughts, or feelings. And I'll see you on another Dose of Chrissy. Deuces.